हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑन बेसिक प्रॉबलिटी इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस टू क्वेश्चन विच वेर आस्ड इन जी टी यू एग्जाम्स फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इफ ए एंड बी आर इंडिपेंडेंट इवेंट्स वेर प्रॉबलिटी ऑफ ए इज वन बाई फोर एंड प्रॉबलिटी ऑफ बी इज टू बाई थ्री देन फाइन प्रॉबलिटी ऑफ ए यूनियन बी This question was asked in GTU Winter 2021 exam of AME subject. So here we are given that A and B are independent events, and using these two probabilities, we have to decide the probability of A union B. So first we note that A and B are independent events. So using the definition of independent events, uh, we can write that. probability of a intersection b will be equal to product of their probabilities given that a and b are independent events since a and b are independent therefore probability of intersection of a and b will be equal to probability of a times probability of b so using this we can decide the probability of a intersection b this is equal to 1 by 4 times 2 by 3 these two probabilities are given and uh, we can cancel out these two and we have probability of a intersection b equal to 1 by 6 and we are asked to find out probability of a union b and we know that if we are interested in the probability of union of two events then we can use addition law for probability so we can write that by addition law probability of a union b is going to be equal to probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a intersection b and now we are having all these values probability of a is given as 1 by 4 probability of b is given as 2 by 3 and the probability of a intersection b is 1 by 6 using the fact that both the events are independent now this is simple calculation we can consider 12 lcm so here i have to multiply by 3 here by 4 and there is 2 so it is 8 minus here i have to multiply by 2 and uh, this is going to be 9 by 12 or we can cancel out 3 so it is 3 divided by 4 therefore we have obtained the probability of a union b which turns out to be 3 divided by 4 so this is very simple application of addition law of probability and independent events to find out this probability probability of intersection of a and b we are using the uh, given fact that a and b are independent therefore probability of a intersection b is product of their probabilities and that we have obtained first and using addition law we are able to decide probability of a union b so sometimes they ask this type of simple questions also uh, and we just have to remember this uh, results that is addition law of probability and uh, if events are independent probability of their intersection is product of individual probabilities this is one another type of question if a and b are mutually exclusive events and probability of a is 0.30 probability of b is 0.45 then find the probability of following events this was also asked in chitu winter 2021 exam of ame subject so here it is given that a and b are mutually exclusive events and uh, we are given the probabilities of a and b given that probability of a is 0.30 and probability of b is 
पॉइंट फोर्टी फाइव फर्स्ट इवेंट इज ए डैस दैट इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ द इवेंट ए देर आर डिफरेंट नोटेशन फॉर द कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ इवेंट वी हैव यूज दिस डिफरेंट नोटेशन इन सम ऑफ द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स दीज आर द डिफरेंट नोटेशन फॉर द सेम इवेंट ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट सो रिमेम्बर ऑल दीज नोटेशन दे कैन आस्क विथ डिफरेंट नोटेशन ऑल्सो एंड वी नो दैट प्रॉबलिटी ऑफ ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट इज नथिंग बट वन माइनस प्रॉबलिटी ऑफ ए प्रॉबलिटी ऑफ ए इज गिवन एज पॉइंट थर्टी सो दिस टर्न्स आउट टू बी पॉइंट सेवन जीरो सो दिस इज द प्रॉबलिटी ऑफ ए डेस पार्ट ए इन पार्ट बी वी आर आस्क टू फाइंड आउट प्रॉबलिटी ऑफ ए इंडियन बी बट इट इज ऑल्सो गिवन दैट दिस इवेंट्स ए एंड बी आर म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव इवेंट्स एंड वी नो दैट ए एंड बी आर म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव इवेंट्स इफ दे कैन नॉट अकर एट द सेम टाइम दैट मीन्स ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इज एम टी इवेंट और एम टी सेट एंड द प्रॉबलिटी ऑफ एम टी सेट इज जीरो सो बिकॉज ए एंड बी आर म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव इवेंट्स प्रॉबलिटी ऑफ देर इंटरसेक्शन इज जीरो and uh, therefore addition law will be this one probability of a and b will be equal to probability of a plus probability of b because this will be zero if a and b are mutually exclusive so we can use this addition law in the case if events are mutually exclusive so we can write that since a and b are mutually exclusive since a and b are mutually exclusive or another word is disjoint since a and b are mutually exclusive probability of their intersection is zero and uh, by addition law in this case addition law will reduce to probability of a union b equal to probability of a plus probability of b because this is zero and we are given these two probabilities probability of a is 0.30 probability of b is 0.45 so we can substitute simply these two probabilities 0.30 plus 0.45 so this is going to be 0.75 so this is the required probability in part b probability of a union b that is 0.75 now part c in part c we are asked to calculate probability of a dash intersection b dash that is probability of intersection of a complement and b complement so how to find out this probability so for this we have to use de morgan's law if you remember that if i have a union b dash that is complement of a union b then de morgan's law says that this is going to be a dash intersection b dash if there is a union uh, it turns out to be intersection of complementary events of a and b so by de morgan's law this i can write as this is nothing but probability of a union b dash or probability of complementary event of a union b so in the bracket i have to mention that i am using de morgan's law this is by de morgan's law and now probability of complement of a union b can be written as 1 minus probability of a union b because probability of a union b and plus probability of a union b dash that is always equal to 1 we know that if two events are complementary events then addition of their probabilities is always equal to 1 so using this fact we can write this probability of a union b dash equal to 1 minus probability of a union b we have obtained probability of a union b in part b that is 0.75 so that we substitute here and answer is 0.25 so here we have used first we are using de morgan's law 
a union b dash equal to a dash intersection b dash therefore we can replace a dash intersection b dash by complement of a union b and this is equal to 1 minus probability of a union b and uh, probability of a union b is 0 0.75 so this turns out to be 0 0.25 so these are very simple and easy questions if you are familiar with uh, this uh, definitions mutually exclusive events independent events de morgan's law and uh, complementary events then you can easily answer this type of questions so these two questions were asked in gtu winter 2021 exam of applied mathematics for electrical engineering subject so this is all about this session keep watching